All right, let's run through how super simple this setup is to use Cube Lego uh, with Let's Encrypt and Nginx Ingress Controller on Google Cloud Platform to, to uh, get rolling with Kubernetes and Let's Encrypt because everything should be SSL anyway, right? Uh, all you need is uh, Google Cloud Platform access, hopefully with a flexible budget so you can just create some clusters for fun. You'll need the manifests actually provided by from A to B, those are the ones I use, so and that's at uh, from A to B manifests on GitHub. You'll need the Google, Google Cloud uh, CLI on your computer, and of course uh, Cube Control, and that should be about it. Let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm just going to create a cluster with all of the default settings. Call it stage because I'm just tinkering around in this evening. Once your cluster is up, navigate back on to, we have to give access to the individual VMs to the Google Cloud load balancer so that we can proxy in. This is just our bashing account to do whatever we want with. So I'm just going to open these three that were created. Could create some default rules to allow the Google load balancer uh, permanent access to all these, but for some reason I just haven't done that. We'll just open it up to allow all HTTP, HTTPS. You probably want to just open it up so the Google load balancers can access this rather than you know opening it up to the public, but this particular account for us is just for playing around with and for the sake of learning this is really quick. So these are all the stage VMs that were created, and I'm just allowing HTTP and HTTPS traffic. Again, you might want to just allow Google. So then I can close that. Yep. Close that. And close that one. Beautiful. Let's go over to Google Cloud Network Services, create a load balancer. We're just going to create a TCP load balancer from the internet to my VMs and we'll call this one stage just keep it consistent there US central I believe that's where it is there and we'll add the stage instance group in there for the whole instance group backup pool we're not even gonna add a health check we're just playing around and now our front-end configuration let's go ahead and create an IP address Do port 443. Use our IP address on port 80 as well. And map those on in. Looks good. Now, once we have this created, it should give us. Now I've got this IP address to our load balancer. It's not going to be not going to be anything there yet, but let's go ahead and jump on our name server. We're going to point everything at stage to this IP address. Oops. Let's go ahead and update this. What is it? The 29th today. There we go. You can use whatever name service system that you have, obviously. So now when we dig something.stage.dot, we should get the IP address. 91. Yep. And then we have our IP address pointing to the stage environment. Let's go grab our manifest. Actually, let's back up and go to Cube Cube Engine on Google Cloud. Use this simple connect to connect to it. Oh, can't do it from here. 
or shouldn't anyway, I suppose. I'm just going to run this in one terminal so that I can run for my cube control proxy. And then once we have our cube control proxy running, we can access this from our local host. Keep in mind, I'm going to pull this manifest back up. And there should be nothing here. Yeah, fresh cluster just to destroy for funsies. All right, now that we have a fresh cluster to destroy, we'll go to the Nginx ingress on the manifests. And we'll go ahead and get these executed. Coop control apply F. Uh, we'll do the config maps. Now, the only thing I really changed, so if I were to analyze these, the only thing I've changed from A to B's resource here was I just added uh, my Lego email and Lego URL, and we're good to go. So, and config maps are used by these resources, so they don't actually believe something else exists to run. Uh, oh, <laughs> obviously these things are going to fail. So the first thing we need is the namespace. Thank you. Now we can run the config map, the cube Lego config map. We'll run the Nginx config map as well. Let's go ahead and run. Let's see, after config maps, we might as well run deployments. So default HTTP backend deployment. Let's go to the other deployment. Cube Lego deployment. Let's add the Nginx daemon set. This might be slightly out of order. I perhaps should have run the daemon set first since daemon sets get pitched with uh, deployments, but let's just keep rolling with it and see if it works. Now we will do the backend service for HTTP. And then the cube Lego. No, that's right. So we just ran all of those. So we'll check namespace check, backend deployment check, backend service check, cube Lego config map check, cube Lego deployment check. Nginx config map, check. Nginx daemon set, check. All right, so now if we go back and refresh our and look at all of the namespaces, we'll have some additional namespaces. So if we look at that, we have cube system and Nginx ingress. Perfect. All right, now if our load balancer is caught up with us now, I should be able to go to something.stage. Yep, default backend. How convenient is that? Now we need something to do deploy. I believe this even comes with an echo server, so it does. So let's go ahead and see if we can just spin up that echo server. And let's do that. Obviously, with the first, or actually, let's just change directory into the Nginx and then the echo server. Let's cube control apply F the namespace because you can't do much without that. Once the namespace is in there, let's do the deployment. And let's see here. Let me make sure. Well, now we can oh, apply F on all these files. Uh, it's pretty fickle about its syntax or in the fact that you use it anyway. Echo server deployment, we'll do the echo server service now. And then that stuff should be coming up just fine. And if we go back to our workloads, refresh this beast, we'll see it's bringing up echo server. As a service, however, the service doesn't have any ingress configured with it, so let's go ahead and glance at the TLS ingress. Oh, awesome.stage, so 
since I don't know if you saw my bind or my name configuration there, I do have a star dot stage. So everything dot stage is going to point to that IP address. Let's just go ahead and apply that. It'll be awesome dot stage dot all digital rewards dot com. Echo server TLS ingress. Now what I'm going to do before I do that is because when you're working with cube control or uh, let's encrypt. After you run a couple of couple of uh, attempts, it's going to block you. Obviously, you know they need to do that; otherwise, they're just probably getting spammed all the time. So I'm going to just glance at the logs here. It looks like it's listening, and we're going to go ahead and cube control apply echo server TLS ingress, which should be awesome. Stage all digital rewards. Dot com. The secret name is important; it has to be unique to the host. Uh, now that that's now that that's created, we can go here and refresherize. This should probably pick up straight away. Uh, creating a new secret for it. I got a circ uh, successfully fetched a certificate for awesome.alldigitalrewards.com. Oh, and I typed it in wrong. Well, I copied it wrong. How could you copy it wrong? Come on. How about that? There it is. And then HTTPS, blam, look at that, how simple that is. It's wonderful. And then I can just deploy my own services, throw my own ingress on it, and let it rip. So that's fantastic. I'm actually going to cut these down and put up what I, what I intended on tinkering with. But that's all it takes to get rolling with uh, SSL through Let's Encrypt, uh, Cube Lego, and your own service. Super simple.